Over the past year, VR gaming has definitely seen a spike, especially on Steam. VR games are uploaded to Steam pretty much on a daily basis, and quite a few of those are actually free to play. Granted, some of those quote-unquote games are either tech demos or VR experiences, but nonetheless, they're pretty fun to try out. So, with that said, let's just jump right into it. First on the list is a game called Gobblegeddon. If you played the lab and enjoyed the longbow game it has to offer, then you might enjoy this one. In Gobblegeddon, you defend against waves of goblins while holding a bat, whacking them into certain targets gives you extra points, and enemies come from various points of entry, making it more than just a beat-em-up. This next one is not so much of a game at all, instead Capcom Go is a VR trailer for a space and moon landing documentary. Sitting in an IMAX-like theater, at times it really felt like I was falling off the edge of my seat, and at the end you have the option to purchase the complete film. Next up is a locked and loaded demo. Although just a demo, locked and loaded seems to be shaping up into a fully packed VR game. There seems to be a wide variety of different game modes, including abandoned building breach, in which you have to defuse a bomb in a building filled with terrorists, to zombie horde, which unfortunately wasn't included in the demo. The graphics look absolutely amazing for VR, and I'm personally looking forward to playing the full version when it's released. Next is a sailboat simulation game called Marine vs. Cup. Now I know nothing about sailboating, so I had no idea what I was doing, but I still had a nice relaxing time on the ocean taking in the sights. If you're into sailboating, definitely check this one out. Now Mew is a very strange game in which you can mirror or record yourself in-game and add some pretty crazy effects to your avatar. Half the time I didn't really know what was going on, but I didn't really care because I was having too much fun messing around with all the different effects and dials. Next up is another demo, but again, it looks pretty promising. Necrotronic VR is a first-person shooter that reminded me of Doom in some ways. It starts you off in a small room letting you practice shooting on some jars, but I didn't take it much further than that because I got way too scared. Oh my fucking moon, that scared the shit! Yeah, me and horror games, especially in VR, don't gel. Turn Me On is another interesting game. You have to race down a Tron-looking track collecting orbs and jumping off ramps, all while avoiding certain obstacles. It sounds easy, but it's not. The controls are very fragile, and the slightest touch of the trackpad will send you flying in the wrong direction. Next we have a game called Wet Pants, in which you defend your castle from killer buffalo or cow things. Very much like the lab's long bow, you have to survive in waves. However, the controls seem very clunky and slow, and for whatever reason, I just couldn't pull out an arrow out of my quiver fast enough. Why it's called Wet Pants, I still don't know. And finally, we have Aircar. Aircar is an amazing experience, and you could definitely tell a lot of work went into this. Fly around a futuristic city in none other than a hover car, and witness everything by looking out your window. Aircar has amazing graphics, and just looking out the window made me feel like I was on another planet. Thanks for watching guys, this has been the top free to play Steam VR games of August 2019, but if you guys want to see more content like this, more in-depth video game discussion, please subscribe to my channel and you guys will not be disappointed. Thanks again for watching, see you next time.